There are different multi-party topologies for calls in WebRTC. The multi-party is a group call where we have multiple participants that are trying to communicate with each other. The first and most naive approach is to use a mesh network. In mesh, all participants are directly connected to all other participants in peer-to-peer -peer connections. So in this case, we've got five participants. Each one has four connections to all the rest to a total of 10 connections. The uplink in such a case would be the multiplication of one connection with the number that we have in our case, four megabits per second, for example, assuming that what we do is have one megabits per second per participant. The downlink again will include these four megabits to a total of 20 megabits per second over the network. The ne next approach is the MCU approach, a star kind of a communication where there is a media server in the middle that mixes all of the incoming media from all participants and then sends back a single composite to, all, to each and every one of them. An MCU requires us to use additional CPU in order to work, but for each and every participant, it looks as if they're in a one-on-one -one, one -on -one call. So each participant will have a single connection with an uplink and downlink of one megabit per second, again, in this specific uh, example. The total connections would be five and the total megabits per second on net network would be 10. The most modern approach today is to use an SFU, a kind of a routing service, selective forwarding unit. With an SFU, each participant sends its media towards the media server, the SFU, and the SFU will then route that media selectively to all other participants. How much exactly it's going to send and what and to whom depends on the SFU and the network policy that you have within the SFU. If we have five participants, there are going to be five connections to a total of 25. Each user will have five connections, one outgoing and four incoming. The uplink would be one megabit per second, similar to an MCU, and the downlink will be four megabits per second, similar to a mesh, to a total of 25 megabits per second. In each and every one of these architecture, we can provide optimizations that will decrease the uplink and downlink of the solution, change a bit the number of connections, but in general, this is how these architectures look like. Today, the most common one is the SFU for group calling and an MCU if what we're trying to do is to record data. The MCU was very common before WebRTC, but it is just too expensive to run at a large scale. If you want to learn more, check webrtcglossary.com for more glossary terms or my webrtccourse.com website for WebRTC trainings. Thank you.